Alright everybody, this is a new this is a new thing that I like to call random video gameplay through. Well actually it's not a random video gameplay through. It's meant to random video game, but this is also one of my favorite video games. Such as Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Ah, the Super Smash Bros. This is one of my favorite games. As it has a series of three games. Super Smash Bros, Super Smash Bros. Melee, and Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Now Super Smash Bros. Brawl wasn't as famous as Melee until the late 2009s. And that's what I mean by late 2009s. It's basically how Madden, how Madden 2009 came out in 2008. I think that goes. I'm not very sure about these games. But anyways, Melee, as Melee went to a variety of characters, Brawl, Brawl jumped out with a whole new world, with a whole new story. It it goes to a story about these same Brawl characters, and it's different. It's better to say that this one was the, was the better one. So Smash Bros. is famous, but in my eyes, this game was better. It was original. Now, I was told that the Mario franchise started some Smash Bros. As this name, Bros, comes comes from Super Mario Bros. But it could be from anywhere, any some anybody, whoever. Now uh, the characters are pretty hard to unlock in this game, so that's why I take my time. And um, if you haven't noticed, I play my games on the emulator, even though I do have a 64. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how to do this. This game really won a whole lot of, when this game was released, it was in the 19s, one year from 2000. Now, before I start my, before I start my battle, I want to ask you this, if you had a chance to be anybody in real life, now this is not a childish question, but still, who would you be out of these characters? Just to suggest, don't have to be the characters, but I'm just making, I'm just making those good suggestions. If you think that's stupid, then just go ahead, you're not hurting me. But anyways, as as the Super Smash Bros. franchise got bigger, there has been a lot of there has been a lot of concerns on Nintendo. After Super Smash Bros. Brawl was released, there hasn't been a game until since then. Which leads me to my first question. Well, actually second. If you had a chance to make the next Super Smash Bros. game, what would it be? And how would the story react? Oh wait, let me, let me get my cheek. Oh. Now, while well, I'm lagging, like, I'm really crappy now. People... Some people are very, very, are very likable in the series. I know I am. As my friend, as me and my friend went across the whole sub, the whole subspace mercenary, whatever you call it, we noticed something about the characters. The characters have different, has much, much different ways. As we got older, and the game got famous, there's been an extinction, a big one. Now. This is kind of getting annoying with me. Why hasn't there been a next game? I need somebody to explain to me that. If you want to leave something like noobish, well, once again, but hey, you're not hurting me, you're hurting yourself. Just get negative comments if you want. I really don't use this account. Really, really, really don't care for it. I just make the videos for fun. But someday people will like to take a on too. Oh, I think I'm gonna so kill you for that. Anyways, I have been addicted to the Super Mario Bros. franchise ever since it came out. Which really, which really made me feel like games really did matter to the world.
you my Jesus then I don't know. Now since I'm doing this, I might as well the next video I make will be a conquer's bad day, bad Friday. Which kinda makes me wonder about that god. Conquer is the old violent kind of god. Which was I guess the first red in M game with a lot of bad with a lot of unusual words. We have a, a part from of Mortal Kombat since Mortal Kombat was the was I guess the first game made on the Zero Sixty Four. Was the first game ever made that was ready to Huh. I don't even like this map so much. Now, since you are playing these new games, how about you just shut up and just enjoy a Nintendo 64 game? Those are the cool games. Like the Sega Genesis. Everybody loved the Sonic franchise. Everybody just loved them. And when he appeared in Super Smash Bros. Bro, everybody just went crazy. He just, he just came up. Nobody didn't know he was coming. I didn't know myself because, you know, I'm just a person just lazy. So, even if I did know about the side of being a Super Smash for many, well, for many one, it wouldn't have surprised me that much. Well, not much I said. But it wouldn't have surprised me as much as it did with Snake. Because <laughs> some people were told that Sega, I mean Nintendo, owns part of Sega. Which made me kind of confused. If Sonic and Snake... There's a... If Sonic's on the Konami team, and Sonic's on the Sega team, doesn't that make Snake kind of an illegal character in the game? I'm not trying to be all mean and stuff, but seriously. Um, whoever thought of that, you must not have... Went to school. I'd have you Japan schools do. But I mean, does Konami really own a part of Sega and Konami? I don't think so. Ooh, told you. Wake up. Wake up. Oh, he is so good. It got you out, Link. That's why I looked back from earlier. Take that, Fox. Are you dare not leave? Suck it. <sighs> now I'm going to end this video right here. So, my big question is, if you had if you had a chance to name the next Brawl game, what would it be, and what new characters would it have on it? Noah, 